thank you so much. They have been hosting Ansie McLean, um, who came. They're, they're over here. Over here. And um, uh, Hi, folks. we've been emailing. Yes. Yes, and um, and uh, Ansie came from Nashville, so that's a nice haul. Oh, you've heard of it. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Asheville with the N in front of it. Yes, you're exactly right. Yes. Yes. Um, so I shared with you just a little while before the show started uh, that I want to share with everyone else an amazing guitar player who I, I've um, I went to go see at uh, Spirit Square at McGlowan Theater. Uh, Tommy Emmanuel was playing a concert. This is a, we think about four years ago. Four or five. Yeah. Four or five years ago, and when I went to go see him, Ansi was opening up for him. And that was the night I became a fan and been bugging you ever since to yeah. <laughs> find a time to get it. We finally made it work. It we finally, finally it worked. worked. <laughs> if you just, you know what they say, never give up. You know, keep your, always dream. Never give up on your dreams. My dream came true. Here he is, Nancy McClain. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's so good to be here. I have two songs, about seven minutes to get you to like me. That can be nerve wracking. Then you get to thinking, well, all it takes is about 10 minutes. Pretty much know if you're gonna like someone or not. I've been watching you all backstage all night and I, I liked you right off the bat. It's so good to be here to be a part of this and uh, I just think, thank you, John, for having me and all the volunteers and everybody that puts this together. You guys are very lucky to have this right here in your community. And yeah, my wife, Dina Lynn and I, she's out there somewhere. Everybody likes her right off the bat, too. She doesn't need 10 minutes. And she, we drove six hours, six, seven hours to be here. And uh, we've been enjoying Charlotte very much. And, uh, but Nashville is our home. We host these things called Nashville Field Trips. Three days we hang out, we show you the town, Dina Lynn cooks, and then we go into a studio and we see how the sausage is made. We get into a real live Nashville recording studio. How many of you have been to Nashville proper? <laughs> I tell folks, if, if you go to Nashville, you have to see a writer's night. Now, it's kind of like the open mic nights you have on Wednesdays here with the Tosco Music family. But in Nashville, it's a writer's town. And I tell folks, if you're going to go to Nashville and spend all four days down on Lower Broadway getting drunk, you ain't seen Nashville. You got to see Nashville, you got to get out. And there's about two or three writer's nights every day of the week in that town. It's crazy. Somebody will just want to be a host of a writer's night and they'll take over a Holiday Inn lounge. And folks just hang out and they share their songs with each other. Well, a few years ago, went through a big life change and I had a friend tell me, man, you need to get out. Why don't you go to some writer's nights? I said, man, I did that like 25 years ago. He said, no, it's fun. You'll meet people. You might meet some co-writers. It's really cool. You might even get a song out of it. And I did. It's writer's night in Nashville. Debbie comes all the way from Kingston Springs. It's only 40 miles or so. She's made longer drives for lesser things. Marty's here with his banjo. His wife's got a seat up front with her glass of Sprite. There's a nervous kid by the back door. Looks like it might be her first writer's night. Well, I put my name on the list when I came in. Feels like 80 hours ago. You know I don't mind paying my dues, win or lose, but damn wheels turn slow and this song won't get picked up I'm just preaching to the choir and that's all right most folks ain't got the guts look at us here we are on writer's night something keeps us going 
Where we're going's anybody's guess Some of us have disappeared and some have had success Just exercise your demons, make it rhyme more or less and Share it with your friends on Riders Night All right, take it! Oh, it's just me up here I've... Tom's got a murder ballad It's 40 verses long and he's bringing the whole place down Anne's got another angry breakup song And she wonders why all the men stop coming around Bob's gonna sing about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus We're all gonna hear about Jesus Whether or not we want to, but that's his right But I can't wait to see his face When a Muslim comes to sing on a rise now Jafar's gonna sing about Allah, Allah, Allah We're all gonna hear about Allah Whether or not we want to, but that's his right We're like patients in a madhouse Who escape with our guitars on writer's night Barry's here with his sister They're singing love duets, it kinda creeps us out they stare into each other's eyes Did I say they were brother and sister? What's that all about? Roger's using too many syllables again Using 147, 112 would have been just right but who am I to judge? I'm just another name on a list at a writer's night. Don brought his guitar. I don't think it's been in tune since 93. And Ancy's got a new song, but we'll only hear about half because of his ADD. If you're gonna dish it out, you gotta take it, you know what I mean? Donna's working at the map code. She's a single mom that sings like a bird in flight. We're all doing the best we can, trying to reach the promised land on Rider's Night. And half of you ain't listening, you're just here to do your thing and move along. Well, that's all right, as long as you don't mind the rest of us doing the same when you sing your song. I really ought to have a good line here, because I got your attention now, all right. I could really use a co-writer, but I ticked everybody off on writer's night. steal each other's lines yeah that's kind of how it works around here you don't reveal your sources just say a muse whispered in your ear we're all too broke to sue you hallelujah have another beer and raise a toast to the host of a writer's night yeah let's raise a toast to the host of a writer's night 